Okay, Thompson Family Road Trip 2020, headed to Estes Park uh, to see this one's parents, Han Solo, yeah. <laughs> Chewbacca, R2-D2, and C-3PO. I don't know how I feel about that. I think of the crew that you would most like C-3PO out of anybody here. I say. <laughs> golden but, child. Well, excellent play on words there, sir, with the golden child. And then second, you just got done telling me that you brought three pairs of heels for a trip to the mountains. Yes, and because I I'm said... going to do a brand shoot while I'm there. Okay. And you're taking the photos. <laughs> I've just been informed that I'm taking the photos for this. Uh -huh. Silly me. I thought, why on earth would she bring heels? She's already got a man. She I doesn't do. need to try and catch one no. in the mountains. No. I Where don't. are you going to stand with heels in the mountains? You know, it's going to be a time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd wear them downtown and like take some cool downtown shots. But I also thought um, path and walking and river by the cabin. <laughs> so I basically am going to fall down a lot. So what we not really because I am a killer walker and that sounded so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk in heels well with my There you go. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> so I need to remember to have the camera out when we tell Grandpa this so that he can call you a Turon to your face. Uh -huh. But that's okay. See, I don't know if that's actually a Turon thing or if that's like, no, this is my everyday life. So just because I'm in the mountains doesn't mean that it dictates my wardrobe because I'm so comfortable and I got stuff to get done and this is my life and I'm living it here. Channeling Jessica Swally, just so you know. There you go. With the hand gestures there. We're off to a great start. <laughs> it didn't, didn't pop very much. We're off to a real great start. We're already this eating dinner, like we're not communion. even on the highway. <laughs> this is the part this where they- feels like communion, off the eat and pass snacks for the curious. Hey, I'm all blurry, there we go. This literally looks like a communion. This, where you're this is the part where my family also finds out that I had a really bachelor move snack when I got home and cooked a chicken patty in the microwave and slapped it between two tortillas. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. See, he thinks that's a pretty good oh, move right there. That chip was not good. It needs to be puffed. That communion wafer needed some more Jesus in it. <laughs> Uh, give me a minute. Let me try to think of the rest of it. Well, just what are we talking about? The ad that was for the, I think, the Dairy Council on Saturday morning when y'all were little, hankering for a hunk of cheese. Why? <laughs> Why did that come to mind? But when? when? <laughs> Stop opening the window. Stop opening. Would you put the child lock on those? <laughs> you, should. you should be oh able to God. over there. This lighting is a little bit dramatic because it's still dusk, like, right there. I had to do something in order for you to be able to see me. We were at our first rest stop, is it Paxico? Between Kansas City and Manhattan. So from here, we're gonna go to Salina for gas, and then from Salina, we're gonna go to Hayes, and that's gonna be the end of today's journey. The goal Hayes by 11. We shall see. I am hoping my Zoom call stays on mute. I am currently listening to a Bible study with Dustin Smith on Zoom and trying to record this, but we just got to town. Where are we? Town Place, town place Suites Marriott in Hayes, Kansas. Uh-oh. And they're laughing, so now I'm nervous. <laughs> She's cracking herself up. I am. Wrong hotel. <laughs> Excuse me? This is the one I was going to, and then the price went up, so we're at the Holiday Inn Express. 40 yes. 650 yes. Roth. I got it. Not 100% certain, but they're checking now. I think we're at the right hotel. Time to start unloading. Dun, 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 dun. I'm still on Bible study, so I'm like constantly checking if I'm muted or not, but we made it. This is our room. This is, this is what we got going here. We got a couple of queen beds and then a pullout, but the pullout is, <laughs> pullout is not good no. for anything. You can see so the springs You can, and they'd be them. in your back. So, so no. I'm gonna go ahead and bump And it was kind of slanted this way. <laughs> I'm gonna be sliding out of bed every night. <laughs> All night. Every night, 3 o'clock in the morning. Hey. <laughs> no, it won't start. It says start, it won't start. Stop, stop. Reset. Reheat. 30 seconds. No, not 410 <laughs> <Dark>. seconds. <laughs> yeah. 
Rock, I am pushing start and nothing All is I'm happening. Is if you can, then the start button's broken. It, <laughs> just put time in and stop it where you want it to. I did, I did. One minute. Is it ma magically going to go? No. All I'm saying is... Oh, see, he's so happy. He pushed it better than me. I was banging on that start button. <laughs> he can't bang the microwave. Obviously, you just have to walk up and thumb it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Good morning. My family's currently arguing over microwave cinnamon rolls. <laughs> You're not supposed to open a microwave when it's going. All the radiation comes out at you. you just That's why it stops. I just threw it away. <laughs> Good morning. I am just hilariously backlit right now, but this is as low as the ice level go. Day two of travel, hopping in the car. We've eaten breakfast for the most part. We're headed to Starbucks. My mom is for some reason convinced that she's going to read even though she gets sick in the back seat. I know. So here we go. We're in a Starbucks drive-thru, of course. I'm just gonna get water because I already had coffee this morning. What are you gonna get? Oh, I'm getting a latte, but I have to get decaf. Is that just the worst thing ever? Mm -hmm. But it still feels like coffee in the morning, so I'm getting it. Can we get a pumpkin spice? I don't know, though. An almond vanilla is good, too. What are you getting, sir? A vanilla latte. There's the Starbucks orders. Why would we put the guest in the very back? <laughs> it's just that. Okay. Give him his own Sorry. personal space. Okay, I'll take Peter's in the back. <laughs> Captain Personal, Josh. I was just thinking, add the guests in the trunk. Yeah. Oh, right. Can you imagine if he was back there? Why wouldn't he be up here in the front seat? In the front? We're gonna make him drive? No, it's in the front seat. Oh, so you can make him sit by me? No. Or your dad? Oh, gosh. I don't know. We we have rotated so much. Maybe he would enter the rotation. Maybe so. Does he get car sick? Well, I don't know. He's only ever driven when we travel. You have to find these things out. <laughs> this is important information. I'll send him a questionnaire before we bring him next time. There you go. Can you sleep in the okay, car? Okay, so Can we also have car? just learned, for the viewers, we have also for just learned, viewers. I saw a bunch of turkeys. So we had to do a little research this morning. A bunch of turkeys is a flock, which isn't very exciting. But it's also a gang, and I like that. We saw a gang of turkeys. Can you see, like, throwing signs. <laughs> they were huddled in a certain formation, so the other turkeys would know not to mess with them. <laughs> and she's drinking decaf! That's why. I don't have the caffeine to calm me down. That's not how that works. When it has worked that, when it's worked the other way my whole life and now I have to do decaf. She tricked her body. We've been in the car nine minutes. <laughs> I wanted to post a quick update, but I just slept for how long were we out? How long were we? About an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, hour and a half to two hours. Where are we? Burlington. Burlington, Burlington Colorado. Colorado. Did we pass the good, good coffee or whatever? I didn't yes, realize we, did. we were going right by it. I've Here's a chaotic mid-trip update. <laughs> We are stopped in Lyman. We stopped at the Arby's in Lyman. We were planning to get, uh, wow, focus on my face, please. Uh, planning to get food at Arby's. We got coupons, and coupons on the drive-through don't typically mix well, so our plan was to go inside, use the bathroom, use the coupons, and be smart about it and everything. We walked clear up to the door, because they got signs that say, like, we're open inside, or please don't enter if you're feeling sick kind of a thing. And like, well, that means your doors are open. We could clear up to the front, it says, oh, sorry, we're understaffed, the lobby's closed. Ooh. Understaffed? You're understaffed? Then take the rest of the signs down. Come on, guys. We are now going to be in the longest drive through line of all time because I've been in this Arby's drive through before. They take a long time. JK, the subway. Third time's the charm. Uh, that subway didn't have like jack in it. It had no lettuce. It had only certain types of bread. It didn't have dressing of any kind or anything of that. So uh, they weren't telling anybody that. So we're going the, through the McDonald's drive through for the first time in I think probably 10 years. I can't awesome. even tell you the last time I was in McDonald's. And the subway. Tried Arby's and it was really slow and the line now, was really long and the guy in the pickup truck in front of us tried to back into the van <laughs> behind him, I mean, which was in front of us. And he had to get out, and the guy in the van got out to go read the menu, but the guy in the truck was sitting and sitting and sitting and, and hadn't even ordered yeah, yet. So I we did. pulled out of there, I, I certainly go over to the travel but... place where the bathroom was being cleaned and all the women's line was all, almost to the door because so we're all trying up? to get in a one polar. Men are coming and going like they always do, but 
the women were in the line. Finally, yeah. they opened up one of the shower rooms, I guess, travel center. That helped things a little bit, but the subway had no lettuce, no, 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 mayonnaise, no, lettuce, no mayonnaise. No mustard. They didn't tell you that until you started your sandwich. So we decided, we, we learned from the people in front of us. So now we were in line at a McDonald's. There are a lot of cars here, but we'll see how fast this goes. And I cannot tell you the last time I was at a McDonald's, so I don't even know what to order. McChicken. I got slushies. McDonald's is consumed, dreadfully consumed. <laughs> um, we had a really hilarious time getting it because Colorado doesn't have regular McChickens, they have spicy McChickens, which threw everything off. Oh, look at that. We're in the part of the stretch of the highway after the sign says road damage, <laughs> where the car has to dance, as my mother puts it. You got some feelings about that? Yes. Don't try to pass me going up a hill if you're a semi. Not gonna happen. Hey, where are we, Dad? We're in Longmont. I have not slept. I may end up taking a nap for a little bit between here and when we get to the base of the mountain because I have to be awake as we go up the mountain so that I can chew gum, hashtag not sponsored, so that I can not have my ears pop and deal with all that pressure change from altitude and whatnot. We're headed up the mountain. So very shortly we will be listening to our mountain song. But first, do you know how hibernation in bears actually works? Other than they eat themselves silly and then they take a nap? No. They, they don't sleep the whole time. Do they just wake up and lay there? Yeah, they wake up and they have a little bit more food and a little bit of water and then they go back to bed. Oh. They don't sleep for like three months. They will wake up and go back to sleep and wake up like they don't it's not like they're like sleeping beauty for three months do they do anything other than sleep and drink so, so while they they're awake <laughs> do, they, do they lay out snacks by their bed so that they yes <laughs> they don't have yeah, to go they, very far yeah they probably have yes to do, like kill i was gonna say so you gotta get a couple so of rabbits and a coyote and a squirrel sitting there for it's life. cold enough they're <laughs> on ice they eat their food and they pack their leftovers and they go to bed <laughs> They've got big Tupperware. <laughs> it's called a cave. Yeah, um, I just learned that like a week ago. Basically, there's no time where it's bear-free country. Well, they might not come out and kill. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. They have their, their dinner sitting there next to their bed in their, in their den. Their bed. Their bed. I don't think it's like just a vision of them having a bed. <laughs> this is not Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> no, but maybe they gather up some stuff. <laughs> grass or something to make it soft. You think they just lay down in cold rock? I think they weave a blanket out of long grass before they go to bed. I'm sorry, I was raised on Yogi Bear. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. He's, he just gathered up the picnic baskets and ate them when he needed them. Lesson for the day. Bears don't sleep the entire time. Bears, bears don't sleep the entire time they hibernate. Um, but we pulled off because there. What's this place called? Colorado. Colorado Cherry Company has some really amazing cherry pie. Apparently, that my granddad just loves. So my mom went inside to see if we could get any for him because last time we tried to come, the line was so long we couldn't actually like get it and get in town in time. So. We're sitting in the car waiting to see if she's going to return with cherry pie or not. We got the pie. It's got hearts on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, we have successfully made it into town. It's pretty busy. Headed up to the cabin right now. First, we are going to stop at Beaver Point. Beaver Point. Because we got to get some buttermilk because my granddad is going to be making pancakes for us tomorrow morning. We are in the subdivision. I am currently laying in a hammock by the river before dinner. I'm gonna get some, uh, gonna get some riding in, and uh, hopefully not a nap because I want to be able to sleep tonight. But definitely some riding and enjoying the river for sure. Well, got a little bit of riding done. It's interrupted a couple of times. Not bad interruptions, but uh, there were still interruptions. That's one of those things I'm kind of working on. Just trying to figure out. Which interruptions to say yes to and which ones to say no to. Most of the time I just say yes. And figuring out which ones actually need to be responded to and which ones don't, kind of important. Um, especially, especially given the stuff I'm trying to do like in life. I've got big dreams and big goals and they're all built on everyday action. That's one of those things where part of me says go ahead and let the interruptions happen because the interruptions are where are an easy place for God to move. 
The interruptions are an easy place to uh, living in the serendipity, the unplanned. Being able to live there is important, but without developing daily disciplines and habits, it's kind of dangerous too because then you never have the uh, mindset to handle things well because you don't have presets. So it kind of depends on what it is I'm trying to do and trying to figure out the interruption versus no discipline game is uh, something I'm still working on. Howdy folks, I just realized as I'm finishing this video up that I didn't film an outro. So that's what this is. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.